How's it going everybody? As some of you guys have seen, we have a sh simple shrimp fly that simply works. And today we are gonna tie a simple shrimp fly that simply glows. Here in Washington state, as some of you know, I love to fish the jetty. And some of the most productive times I've had fishing the jetty are just as the sun goes down. And when that happens, I do enjoy fishing a glow in the dark fly. Not only that, they're very fun to tie and the finished product is always cool. So we're gonna get after it. In the vise, we have an SA250 size number six from Arex, and we are going to start our thread wraps. Alrighty, so the first product we will use here is some glow-in-the-dark easy shrimp eyes, and we will tie those right on top and kind of follow the curvature of this hook. It's a really cool hook designed for tying shrimp. And just follow that profile that this hook already gives you. Second material we're gonna use is some glow-in-the-dark flash boo in green. And out of all the glow-in-the-dark materials that there are out there, it just seems that green glows the best. I far prefer it to glow-in-the-dark red or glow-in-the-dark blue. Uh, or glow in the dark white. Glow in the dark green seems to be the most vibrant. Uh, this flash of boot, it's not, it's not gonna be what truly illuminates this fly, but it is gonna add a little bit to it. And we're gonna tie these in almost as the antennas here. And we're gonna we're gonna tie in quite a few strands, as you can see. Uh, not every one will glow as well as the other, but It'll do a good job of adding a little bit of flair to this. Next material we're gonna use is some barred voodoo fibers in clear black. And it is important that these are the clear ones. Uh, that the clear seems to uh, illuminate while there's some glow materials around them. And it kind of reflects off that uh, transparency of the material. So we'll add those in on the top. And these will stick out a little bit longer than the flash boo. At this point, we are going to take some spawn semi seal in chartreuse, uh, UV chartreuse steel. And we're just going to take a bit here and we're going to dub that on, line these fibers up, and we're going to tie it in on the underneath side of this hook, right like so. It's gonna add a little bit of profile here. That's what we're going for. We don't need this excess in the back, so we're just gonna cut this off. We will fill that space in a little bit later. All right. So as you can see, it's, it's already starting to look a bit like a shrimp, but we're gonna really bring this thing to life soon and it's going to truly glow all right, so we're gonna start stacking a few materials right here, and the first one of which is Atomic Glow in green from Al Wood. We tie this thing on upside down. This is one of the strips, just right on top here. And then we're going to leave it. And as you will see soon, this, in my opinion, is the best glow-in-the-dark product that is available right now. Uh, I think it does a phenomenal job of truly illuminating a fly and hopefully we can really showcase that. So once we got that tied in, we're going to take some UTC wire in medium. You can use chartreuse, this is olive. Um, color isn't as important. I'm using an olive thread here, so we'll match that. And we'll try that right right in line with the Atomic Glow. This next point, we're gonna take a sheet of Atomic Glow in the green. We're gonna cut a, a shell-like, um, a shell-like uh, 
portion off. And as you can see, I didn't use a cutter. I freehanded this. We can trim it up a little bit. You definitely want to taper here, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We can go in and manipulate this as we bring this fly to life. So as you can see, we got this going here and we're going to bring our thread all the way up to the front of the hook just behind the eye. And we're going to tie this on upside down. We don't want it to turn because what we're going to do here in a bit is we're going to bring that back across. And this is a good time to see if it's really going to be the length that you want for this shrimp shell. And it looks good to me, so we're going to go with it. Alrighty. So we got this in here. And now we're going to bring some profile to this shrimp. What we're going to do is we're going to take some more semi seal. And, and this, these next few steps are the most complicated steps, but it is a very simple pattern. And in reality, they are not too challenging. So as you can see this dubbing, it's, it's all loose and that's fine. We want this to be loose. It doesn't have to be perfect for this because we want those fibers to be sneaking out of these uh, other materials that we're gonna wrap over them here momentarily. So we're gonna get some loose wraps here. Really bring the profile of the shrimp to life. Doesn't have to be perfect. Can absolutely be messy right here. All right, that's about gonna do it for me. Bring that in front. All right, and then this is the time that we're really gonna brush this out. And it's important that we brush it out right now because a lot of these fibers are gonna be trapped momentarily and we want as many of them to stick out as possible. As you can see, the shrimp is starting to take form. Alrighty, so first material we're going to wrap, we're going to take this atomic glow here. And what we're going to do is try and separate these fibers just a tad. And we're going to wrap this, leaving gaps in between so that the fibers can sneak out. And we'll pick these out here in a moment, but we've already loosened them, which is key to bringing this to life. So we're giving some stripes here. Finish right where we got the shell tied in. And trim that off. Alrighty, at this point, you're gonna take your bodkin and you're going to continue to pry and pull those loose fibers out. And like I said, we've already loosened them up, so they're coming out with ease. And this is gonna create the profile and body of this shrimp. Just pulled it a bit, so hopefully it stays in focus for you guys. This, attempt, this atomic glow that we put in here is really gonna illuminate these fibers. Alrighty, so now we're going to take the shell, leave our, leave our bobbin up here, take the shell, and we are going to take our UTC wire here and secure this shell. Let's see if we can get this to grab. And where we're gonna wrap this UTC wire is in those gaps that we just left with the atomic glow. So as you can see here, we're working our way in there. And this is gonna really hold this fly to life as some big predatory fish that are lurking in the evening come up to eat. So now that we brought this UTC wire all the way forward, we're gonna trim off the excess and then really tie this down 
and we are nearing the completion of this fly. I'm just going to bolster up this finish here. I'm going to whip finish now. And then I'm going to go back in and pick, make sure that we continue to keep these fibers loose. And it's important that we've, we've focused on loosening them up in the previous steps because they make this a lot easier. And you'll see here. So as we can see here, those fibers are now loosened up and it has the same profile as the shrimp. All right, so then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trim this. And this is just aesthetics. I do like it though. It gives it a little bit of a shrimpy look. If we can do it here. Cool. So there we go, shell on the front here. And if you hang tight for a second, we are going to hit this with a UV light, which I would recommend bringing out with you when you are fishing uh, with glow in the dark flies. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna shut all the lights off so that you can truly see this fly glow. So as you can see that atomic glow really lights up and it really brings this fly to life. This is the simple shrimp fly that simply glows. This atomic glow is really, really nice and it lasts for a while. I'll hit it here again, uh, as you can see, but it is gonna be electric and these fish love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and good luck out there in the dark.